Hi everyone, I've just come to share with you um, journal number 16 of the Summer Journal Challenge um, over on Junk Journal Junkies. Um, really like this one. Pretty vintage on the front cover. Um, coffee dyed papers. There is a few uh, designer papers which don't, which hasn't actually been coffee dyed. Um, <clears throat> But it's still got that vintage look to it. So this is made with um, cardstock cover in the kind of crafty buff colour as it's called. This measures eight and a quarter by five and three quarters. And I think I did write down how many pages were in this. 80 pages front and back. Uh, seam binding closure. Found this image on Pinterest. This die here is <clears throat> this one here. Um, oops, don't put that back properly, but you just kind of see how it goes. So I've used that, I had that for ages, only used it once or twice and thought, hmm, great idea for doing um, like framed uh, titles and whatever on the front of journals. This is memories, it's got some um, little bit of lace here and some. Uh, flat back pearl string, two pearls on there and let's go inside okay inside cover is just journal page uh, here we've got a ticket on a butterfly this is a postcard stuck that down on the wrong side meant to put it on that side but thought hey put one of these little stamps this is from Ephemera's Vintage Garden and I just left that there it said postcard address to be written on this side uh, some full stitching and that goes there here we've got um, some tags and journaling cards this is Prima and a flip up as you can see this hasn't been coffee dyed but the rest of the papers have been just done, done some stamping um, lots of places to journal done a um, bottom banner type thing kind of love and using these um, butterflies which is from this punch um, I'm trying to use up my scraps as well so the butterflies are being punched out left right and center paper bag so you can put things inside there um, altered um, envelope tag another tag some ephemera this opens up and it's opened at the side so you can tuck bigger things in doily a side tuck journaling card index card and tag journal page another top tuck here a pocket and it says dance like no one is watching and journal cards and ephemera paper bag here I've just made a um, flip out and it looks like an envelope <clears throat> got that idea from Paula Lemon a bottom tuck and used up some little flowers this um, whoops it flips up lots and lots of little places to journal on hearts on a string another pocket some ephemera this is from tsunami rose from it was from the free um, journal kit that she gave away <clears throat> saw the one with the nice pretty red roses can't remember what it was called now <clears throat> some more journal cards and you can find that kit over on her blog
paper bag, some more journaling cards and tags, and that flips up. There we go. Uh, it's a top tuck. A corner tuck. Another top tuck. This is sliding around all over the place. <laughs> The other side of the paper bag. Um, it's another one of these um, little foldaways. Final page is a uh, flip. Rita Donnelly has just recently done a little tutorial on how to do this using index cards. Um, <clears throat> So if you go over, um, her channel is called G Marie Scraps. I'll link it below. Um, or is it Rita Donnelly? I can't remember now. <laughs> anyway, I will put a link to her channel below. And it is one of her recent um, videos, so you won't have to go back too far. She makes lovely journals. Very inspiring. Anyway, that's this journal. I'm going to make another one in a minute because I nearly finished this yesterday and then I got sidetracked doing something else. So that's the journal. This will be listed on my Etsy if anyone's interested. Um, this paper here was actually brown and this design was actually bright white um, and I just inked it up to kind of tone it down a bit because it was just a little bit too much. Um, so yeah, hope you like it. If you've got any questions, just ask and thanks for watching. Bye